Hi, my name is Nate Scott, author of Life is Rich, How to Create Lasting Wealth, and I'm a U.S. Army veteran, former enlisted soldier, combat veteran, United States Military Academy West Point graduate, and former Army infantry officer and ranger. I want to share with you my passion and my message and how it all came about. You see, at 19, as I walked the perimeter during Desert Storm, I said, Lord, if you allow me to make it back, I'll never waste a day of my life. That grew into Life is Rich which means I live in fullness every day because I realize I am Christ's heir. That means spiritually, mentally, emotionally, relationally, physically, and financially. As a veteran, there are two causes in which I'm very passionate about. And that is number one, the number one killer of veterans is suicide. And number two, the number two killer of veterans is cancer. You see one in three women, one in two men are diagnosed with some form of cancer during their lifetime. The number one cancer killer for both men and women is not breast cancer, that's four. It's not pancreatic, that's three. It's not colon cancer, that's two. The number one cancer killer for both men and women is lung cancer, lung cancer. Now, I don't know if that's alarming to you or not, but for me, I grew up in the South. And in growing up in the South, I always heard that if it doesn't smell like bleach, then it's not clean. Those were things that my grandmother would say. Well. In 2018, I read the lung damage study. And a lung damage study says that cleaning your home just once a week with certain products, things like bleach, ammonia, scrubbing bubbles, tub and towel, Tylex, Lysol, things like that. Cleaning your home just once per week with those type of products has the equivalent impact on your lung capacity as smoking a pack of cigarettes per day for 20 years. Now I'm a father and I'll tell you that as I've got this information, I had to make a decision to make a switch. I did so because my mother-in-law is a breast cancer survivor. My father-in-law passed away from pancreatic cancer. My grandmother passed of cancer on January 12, 2020, and my wife's sister passed on November 1st, 2020 after a bout with cancer. So my question to you is very simple. Is there any smart reason why you would knowingly use poisonous products when there are safe, effective, and affordable products available? That's the same question that I asked of myself that caused me to make the switch to safe, effective, and affordable products. So if this makes sense to you, then I'd love to have the opportunity just to share with you the information that can allow you to make a decision of whether or not to make the switch.